back to stoppages too. You are are working with the unconscious with stoppages. So mm. you were so right yeah. to say reaction when there is a reaction, and a reaction can be this, can mm-hmm. be a flinch, mm-hmm. can be a dead. Don't go any further for mm-hmm. either party. Okay, and when something is strongly reacting, like oh, I so didn't like what he or she said. That that's a go into that for yourself. Try to understand what am I reacting, and if you can notice that or pick that up on yourself and say, "I want to share with you that I had a reaction." If you notice in your partner, hey, you know, kind of noticed you weren't with me, and you, and so if you can use I statements like, um, "I'm feeling left out here," I'm feeling rather than you're not responding or you're you're moving too fast, you're moving too slow. You know, making it about I because we are so sensitive about our sexual. So true. Oh my gosh, it's one of the biggest triggers that we go through as humans, and yeah, that real that NBC nonviolent communication, like taking ownership and responsibility as you speak to it, like I, like you just said, I am feeling mm-hmm. um, this or, or I'm that. noticing I'm I'm feeling afraid for some reason, and I I I know there's nothing to be afraid of, but I'm noticing I'm. I'm feeling unsettled. I'm noticing when you touch me like that, I get panicky. You know, I'm noticing um, that I'm tightening up. And, and I'm, and I'm noticing. Um, yeah, I want, I want to check I, this out for a minute. Yeah. And, and on the other side, oh, I notice that you're you're not with, you're slowing down. Something's going on. Help yeah. me. My, my mind is thinking that you've been hurt and that you're afraid of something. Uh, let, what let's about, take a moment. What about yeah, if your that. partner, if you're noticing they're they're not present, like they've just gone and they're somewhere yeah, else. So right. how do you, how do you take ownership for that? I'm noticing you're not present right now. Yeah, like, like, I'm noticing well, you're not here anymore. Where'd you go? How do you say that? <laughs> Those are simple things, but but the biggest thing is to start noticing it in your mind mm-hmm. and go, oh, that they're somewhere else. And say, you know, say, I, I need to, it seems like you're someplace else. So you say it softly, mm-hmm. you're not assured because uh, we really are never inside anybody else. So right, we can just right. say what we imagine, my, my senses, you've left me. And that can be because of something that is a stoppage. And your partner may not even be know aware. they've left. Yeah. yeah. So that's why my second stage, first stage is conversation because you're connecting here first. Mm-hmm. Um, my second is rituals. Because rituals bring, and again, I'm focusing on women because women want to be seen and heard for who they are as a being first. So take, bring it here. Plus, erotic and sexy is here. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. So my second stage is rituals because she's coming from doing it all and from a busy world and working, and you're bringing her into this gentle, sensitive, interactive realm now because intimacy only happens now and in the present. And I like rituals it marks us as, hey, we're starting this very transition. And yes, it's a great transition. And there's a lot, some of them are just breathing, eye gazing, can be very simple. And holding, kissing, mm-hmm. throwing kisses to each right. other. And we were talking about how do you handle these stoppages. So, hey, can we just pause for a minute? I want, I want to hold you. Can we pause and breathe? Because your partner may deny it and say, no, nothing. Say, well, and and you might in your neutral in between chats say, I really loved it up to this point. And for some reason, I, I felt like I dropped it or could, uh, could you take my hand and show me? 